This video is taking a look at the Apostles' Creed by Wollstone. Now, Wollstone II was consecrated Bishop of London in 996. In 1002, he was elected to the roles of Bishop of Worcester and the Archbishop of York, holding the latter post until his death in 1023. He is better known for his homily, the Sermon of the Wolf to the English, Sermo Lupi ad Anglos, written in 1016. His translation of the Apostles' Creed, as found in his sermon to Elam Folke, was probably written between 1010 and 1016. Now, the text for the Apostles' Creed I've taken from this website here, a very good website for learning Old English, um, Old English aerobics. Um, please do go there and make use of it. It is a great uh, website. All right. Okay. Now, an image of uh, Wollstone, the Archbishop of York. Well, some sort of image. When it was made, I don't know. Some sort of likeness. But you can trace it down to this website here anyway and have a look. Now, what was his reason for making, for putting together this sermon? Well, at the time he did so, there had been, for whoa, probably almost two centuries or something, uh, Viking raids on England, which had done great damage to the church, as they had elsewhere across Europe. Um, there was, at this time, also quite a lot of Danish Viking settlement of England, and so many of the people were starting to, or well, quite a few of the people were, were starting to fall away from the faith, losing confidence in it, perhaps returning to the pagan ways from which their ancestors had left behind something like three centuries before. And so it was a great, uh, at that time, it was troubling to the church uh, as people reverting to pagan ways, losing confidence or faith in the church and moving away from it. So it was the Danish settlers, of course, brought the pagan beliefs with them, um, and so this posed a challenge to the church. And so Wolfstan's purpose in putting together this sermon was to explain to the Anglo-Saxon people what their beliefs were. What did they believe as Christians? What was it about? And the fact they had to be taught shows you the extent of the, indicates the extent of the damage being done to the church by the Viking raids and by settlement, that people did not know what it was they believed. And so this sermon was necessary to, to reinforce the teachings of the church. All right, so let's look now at the start of the sermon. This is the beginning of the sermon, which uh, helps uh, show th the need to explain to the English people, to the Anglo-Saxons at that time, what it was they believed. So let's start. Leoven men under rasatanda thiarne El sawa eo muchel theraf is, that ye eoes caristen domus ye shead witan, and ye eg ye leornean, that ye kunan that alch caristen man, mid the richte kunan shella, that is pater noste and credo in deum, and butan ye hit on leden ye leornean machen. Ye learneth hit on English thus, Erle ur fader the on hell vonum erd, a su thin nama echelice ye bletsod, and thin a riche dom over us a rixia sumble, and thin willer ye wur the swaswa on hell vonum, ek swa on erthan. Ya unna us to thisum daia daichwam nichus fostares, and us ye miltsa. Swa swa we miltsieth tham the with us a gultath, and ne lad thu us kosnian eales to suulthe ak alus us faram uvela. Amen. And then it goes on here. And now let's come to the Apostles' Creed part of the sermon where Wollstone explains what it is that people as Christians believe. Okay, here we go. We love us on Anna God Almichtina, Thir Ella Thing, Ye Sheob, and Ye Warchte, and We love us and Ye Arne, with on that Christ Goddess Suno. Tomanum com for elis mancunus terve, 
and where ye loveth that hina clan a madden ye barre sancta maria there never a nacht where is ye manan and where ye loveth that he mitchell ye tholade and satith leecher taroade for ure elder neode and where ye loveth that hina man on the road a henge and hina to deathe ac welde, and hina sithan on erthan vaburi ye de. And we ye loveth that he to hella fear de, and thar of ye herch de, el that he wolde, and we ye loveth that he sithan of deathe arise. And we ye loveth that he after thumb to heo vonum as tiche. And we ye loveth, and ye are na witon that he on domus die to thumb Michlan doma cunth. And we ye loveth that earl a dea de men shulan thonan a reason of deathe, and thona Michlan dom earl a ye saken. And where ye loveth that tha soon fullen, shulon thanan on an to hella faran, and tha a sithan. Mid day of lumunian, on burnendum, fure, and on e can far wurde, and thus any ende, ne cumth avera to warulde. And where ye loveth that tha godan, and well caristenan, the hair on warulde gode. Well, ye quaimed on thona on an shulon into heo vonum farren, and thar sithan wunen ge haben mit gode selvum. And mid his angelum a on eknesa. Amen. And can I just say here that word is not gode, it's gode, meaning God himself. It's in a genitive referring to God. Selvam indicating himself, God himself. So just a slight mispronunciation there. That should be Godde. All right. And some uh, some text from Sermo Lupi. I think I mentioned that earlier. The Sermo of the Wolf to the English. And it starts down here. Leov and men, their canal with sorth is. And so on. Um, that goes there. This is the sermon for which he's perhaps most famous and most well known. And here it is in the original text. Um, and I'll give you the source for that shortly. Two more images from it. So there's the original text of the time. All right, and that can be found um, in the um, Parker Library website. Um, and here's the website to, to find it, or you can get this version down here. That's where I got, that's where I got these pictures from. Um, and that's where it is. That's where you can find it. That's his sermon. Um, Leov and men canaweth that sort is. So dearest men, know what the truth is about you. And then goes on about your faith and so on. Um, and that is it. Job done.